think. The, the Sonia. We saw leaps come out, mm -hmm. but um, usually it was just like a light bomb here and then an arrow there, and the leap maybe was later. I mean, I could be remembering wrong. Too, it could be but... like a cooldown thing. Like maybe it wasn't. I gotta say, the between the horrify and the Lucio cleanses mm -hmm. and, and the amazing Diablo counter engages, mm -hmm. uh, that looks pretty one sided. In the team fights. Uh, it was definitely like it started to slide in the latter half of the game. Um, I think I've disconnected, so I'm gonna wait to keep talking. All right, let me uh, see if there was any prediction to close. <laughs> oh no, my internet. Can you still hear me? Hey, hello. Hello. <laughs> oh, so the stream is still going. Um Hi, Jotak. Hi. Um I think the stream is still going, but I can no longer see the okay, I can see the, the talents and stuff now. Sick. Okay. <laughs> Sorry guys. Um Let's see, did we end up with the prediction? Oh, okay. Oh, no one... a little bit of a lost points. Nobody, nobody bet up for cheese. No cheese bet. <laughs> Dark is asking me for the interview. <laughs> <laughs> interview, stream or no stream. <laughs> We're getting an interview. <laughs> Oh, they've already entered <laughs> lobby two. <laughs> They're waiting oh, he, for he us. You mess messaged me too. <laughs> okay, well, can you see lobby two? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Hi. Evening, oh. casters. Hi. Good games. Yeah, very clean. Have you been practicing? You seem like you've leveled up. <laughs> <laughs> Not much. <laughs> uh, we did do one scrim block last week. That we played it. an entire ARAM game before the match. We yep. did oh, play an ARAM game in a half. I think the second one only counted as a half. Well, congrats on the win. Um, mm -hmm. Quite clean. Yeah, very clean. How did you feel yeah. about the those games in general? I felt like if we whiff their wombo, then uh, we get to run at them. That's what we did. <laughs> True. Yeah, both games they they drafted something sort of in your face, trying to play some sort of combo VP, crushing jaws, and then this game they had all sorts of CC light bomb, Genji mm -hmm. with uh, wailing arrow and leap as well, but. I gotta say, I was more impressed with you guys in the second game because, and this is just me, maybe Paula doesn't agree, I thought their draft was a lot better. I thought that because of how squishy, like, even between, like, picking Gul'dan, Ragnaros, Tychus, that you guys are gonna get walked on a little bit. Between the high fives and the counter engages and also some really nice horrifies, it felt like the team fights were really favored for you guys, so. Nice job. Yeah, I think a big thing for us in both games was just like cooldown tracking. 
mm -hmm. um, because they were so wombo oriented that if we just didn't all get caught in the wombo, mm -hmm. then we had a, a really good fighting chance. And then the first game, actually, their combo got us, I think, a little by surprise. We knew more or less they were going for VP combo. We just didn't realize how quickly it would erase everybody. <laughs> uh, With the silence, it's crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, so it did, it caught us a little bit by surprise that first time they got us really good, um, and then just kind of focused around, like, okay, if I'm not in it, I need to gorge Orphea. If Seven isn't in it, he needs to be pre-high-fiving people like Rise is starting. Right. Um, and then most of them after that, we either got some counter kills or just were able to completely survive. Yeah. So I think it was just, uh, just fight through the wombo and then they were like the freest tank games of my entire life they just had very little <laughs> tank kill pressure in both games mm -hmm. which uh is fun for me <laughs> they wanted a lot of bodies not just one guy well yeah, i mean i think their their comps were just very designed to kill our backline which made mm -hmm. it feel very free for me to just run around and cause mayhem as they were trying to do things I don't think I would have been that confident playing tank into those teams. It seemed like you were pretty, like, calm about it, though. You know, not, like, losing your cool when your backline gets attacked, doing whatever you can, like, with, the, with what's right in front of you. Oh, that was cool to watch. There was a, a really nice turn and like, one of the first fights in the second game where, well, well, just in general, you're catching a lot of wall bangs onto people, like, on the edge of the key rage. Uh, but there was one fight where you turned it after they used silence light bomb and then just caught everybody in an apoc and that was like at least three kills i think but uh so pretty impressive tank play yeah also great use of the molten core i can't believe you guys didn't lose that top four. Oh yeah that, that was, was crazy such a good with the frozen punisher we were frozen like punisher doesn't scare us uh... yeah i was like for sure this is a fort <laughs> Lucio was baiting a lot of Punisher jumps as Lucio, or Seven was baiting a lot of Punisher jumps as Lucio. Pretty good. So Were you guys, guys worried at ahead. all with the drafts? Like the enemy's draft with the combos? Were you, or at least the second game, were you guys worried that you didn't have enough uh, cleanse slash disengage? I mean, you've already stated that you disagree, but I actually, <laughs> I think going into both games, especially the first one, like by the time I got to fourth pick Stitches, I felt like Stitches was a really good pick into what they had at that point. Mm -hmm. We were actually going to do something else, and then I was just like, with what they have, Stitches has to be the call here. <laughs> nice. Um, and then the second game, again, I, like, I just felt like they had very little Diablo kill pressure. Um... And Seven's really good on Lucio, as we all know. Mm -hmm. um, so he was so we running around the... keeping everybody alive just long enough for our counters to work. So we weren't on our back heels, like, looking at the horde on the ridge line coming at us. We were more like, yeah, let's run at him. Let's <laughs> send our invincible tank in there. <laughs> I, I personally love the idea of picking tank kind of towards the end. That way you can kind of counter pick, um, or you don't get countered. It's a great concept. I don't remember when you got picked a Diablo, but it was like a last pick of Stitches, right? Or second I round. late picked tanks both times. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, it almost cool. caused us to not lock on time in the second round. <laughs> <laughs> but that's besides the point. <laughs> no, it, it's a it's a great strike. That would have been a quick game three. <laughs> <laughs> quick game two. Gone to game three because we couldn't draft. <laughs> Did you guys catch my 2v1 top in Dragonshire? Uh, it was... You were the D.Va? Yeah, Yeah. Zeratul attempted to gank him with Leoric, and somehow Leoric left with, like, no health, and Zeratul was dead. <laughs> I don't think oh, we did. Oh, goodness. I don't think we did. Oh! Is is that the one where Zeratul just died? Yeah, that was the one where Zeratul died in the bomb. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, That's we funny. saw that. Oh, good, yeah, no, yeah. We did see that. We, we were watching you hit the mech, and we were You're like, like there Zeratul? Just stand there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. I didn't actually see how it happened. I just flicked my screen up there for the aftermath, but the aftermath <laughs> had me confused. <laughs> no, I'm getting moment. ganked. I'm getting ganked. Actually, I'm fine. I got a kill. <laughs> that's awesome. But yeah, overall, you guys played pretty clean, and it looks like you're... 
getting used to, you know, new roster and adjustments and your new name. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still we getting did. used to your new name. Mm -hmm. We did finally, we, we asked them to update it quite some time ago, but it finally got updated. We're working on our new logo. Uh, it's, it's looking good so far. I like it. Awesome. Well, we hope to cast some more of your games soon. If you've got any questions or anything you want to say, Jotak, too, also. Fine, I'm good. Do you guys have any uh, any shoutouts or anything you'd like to say? Oh no. There isn't sure. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I, was, I was trying to I was trying to let somebody else talk. So I feel like I've been talking a bunch, but. Uh, shout out to the team. Another really good week. We put together two really good weeks in a row. Yeah. Uh, a really good scrim block between, actually. So we've, I think we're like quite a few straight wins, including, including scrim. So it's been going well. Uh, shout out to you guys, of course, for the best casters in all of the world and then some. And then, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then... <laughs> Uh, the I, I don't think I've actually done it this this time, but or this season yet. But uh, shout out to our wives and our girlfriends who oh, yeah. uh, let us stay up and, and play video games, pretend <laughs> like it's important. <laughs> yeah, shout out to them. Yeah, shout out to them. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thanks guys for joining us for the interview. We're excited to see more of your games. And um, Fountain Cypress played a really great game too. I hope everybody as uh some fun in the rest of the season cool. yeah i should i should have added shout out to fountain snipers as well really cool mm -hmm. combos again the first yeah, game yeah, yeah. i think caught me by surprise for sure <laughs> how how deadly that combo was it was mm -hmm. impressive mm -hmm. all right yeah, well, GGs. yeah, yeah. ggs have a great games. night everyone